Hello, uh, good morning. This is uh, Siva Devaki from um, Mass Mailer. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. I know I got a little delayed today. Apologies for that. Um, hopefully we can get going uh, very quick here. Uh, so today I'm gonna talk about uh, a new feature that we just rolled out in the new release. Um, that's about um, creating dynamic um, email content in Mass Mailer. Uh, let's take a look at um, what does it really mean, the dynamic email content. Um, if you ever realized uh, the emails that you're sending typically in any campaign, it'll have a static template. Maybe it has some merge fields where it is going to populate some data from, uh, you know, say, contact or lead object or related objects. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, but if you ever needed to send out, um, you know, different email for each recipient, based on certain properties on uh, the particular recipient, meaning like, let's say uh, the location of the person who is receiving. Uh, maybe if it's a student, maybe the student, um, the program that student enrolled to, um, or maybe uh, if it's a uh, customer based on the product that they purchased from you. You know, whatever it may be, if you wanted to display different uh, content based on uh, certain behavior or certain data that you captured for that particular recipient, uh, then you know uh, that's what is called the dynamic content. Um, it's more like personalized um, email that you're actually sending out uh, to you know the recipient or the audience that you're going to send emails to. Okay, that that's all what it means, the dynamic content, and um, and uh, how do you do that in Mass Mailer? Uh, so if you're familiar with Mass Miller Template Builder, um, you must have noticed there's an option to create an email template and a base template. And now we come up with something called a display condition uh, through which you can actually um, rather use that condition on your email template. Uh, like all it means is uh, it's like a if case, if so-and-so is true, then do this. Uh, kind of a thing, right? It's a conditional statement that you can put, but again, it's nothing programmatic. It's it's all uh, UI driven. Uh, it would be quite easy to kind of uh, go through and understand, uh, you know, uh, what kind of uh, conditions that you may want to apply. And again, when it comes to email template, you would have to use that condition to turn on or turn off uh, certain sections in that email template. Uh, so again, we'll uh, take a look at how to do this. Um, but it's all pretty much how you're going to do it is in uh, the template builder itself. Uh, so this is the UI. You would see this manage display condition. That's a new one, and you can create it on any object. And then uh, this is another screen where you're actually going to go add uh, the filters or create that display condition. And then in the template builder, you're actually going to use this display condition on the right hand side. You can see. Uh, on the particular row, uh, and based on whatever, um, like the status uh, in the scenario, the lead status. So if the lead status is open status, they would see this particular statement. Uh, if not, they would not see that. So it's basically just to show you how it appears. Uh, we're actually going to take a look at that live. Um, test it. So if you go to man, uh, Mass Miller Template Builder, okay. Right. You would see um, the tab called display condition there. And then here, uh, we are actually going to go create uh, the display condition. I have it ready though. Uh, lead status open, lead status working. I'll just show it to you. Let's say uh, what I'm trying to do is. Uh, I'm going to send an email to leads, and some leads are in open status and some are not. So based on the status, I'm going to uh, send different content uh, to those particular recipients. You know, that's my uh, goal. Like, very simple. Again, it may or may not be um, the true use case scenario when you're actually sending out your, your emails. It could be completely different. 
but this kind of gives you an idea on how to play with the display condition and how to use that display condition into the actual email template. Let's say uh, you want to create a um, open display. I'm just going to give a name, something like that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then here, I'm going to select uh, the lead object and then add a row, select field, and I would just do status, which is the lead status, and then equals, and then let's say open, and then that. So that's how you basically gonna go use the uh, open display condition. Uh, sorry, that's how you're gonna create a display condition, um, you know, based on whatever the criteria. So here you're just gonna assume that um, based on uh, the data that lead has, um, you know, uh, the email content is gonna change. Uh, and what that criteria is, um, is, is what you're seeing, he, seeing it here. The status equals to open, not contact. That's the filter criteria that we have for this display condition. So I would just go save this and I'm gonna go close this. And I already have uh, created two, like open lead status working and then lead status open. Uh, so if you actually want to take a look at that, it's exactly the same thing. Uh, but a different name. Uh, and I have another one that says uh, lead status uh, working. And then here, uh, another display condition. But we're not using all of these display condition. I just want to show it to you. Uh, but now, actually, if you want to create a template, uh, again, we'll uh, just create it from scratch. Uh, nothing complicated. Uh, just given here dynamic content. Demo two, and then my dynamic linear demo. So um, that's you know that's a name and the email subject, and then here uh, the display condition is actually set at the row level, so every row can have its own display condition. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go add a couple of rows here, uh, just to make sure that we have enough content uh, to display. And then um, it can have multiple columns, it doesn't matter. Uh, we would just quickly create something. Right? And that's my image on the top. And then, Have some social icons there, divider there, and then I would have some paragraphs there. So let's say uh, this is my um, template. I'm just going to use the okay. So um, this is a toggle section or you know basically what it means uh, display only for lead status open just for the clarity I think fancy as such so when I select this row on the right hand side I see the section called display condition. I'm just gonna go select it for the lead again. Uh, so we, this is the one that we created. I'm gonna go use that one, uh, lead open display condition. So basically what we are saying, if the lead status is open, only then display this particular row. So that's, that's all what it means. Uh, and for any other status value uh, that is not open, this particular statement will not appear for that particular lead. Uh, so let's just go save this. And then I'm just gonna go save to Salesforce. So that's basically how you um, create a template, uh, very easy. And now uh, I will go ahead and try to send an email to leads. 
go to sales. And then <clears throat> go to leads. And I have a list view that I'm gonna select from here from the drop down. So that's the test. And then it should have two leads. So one is an open status, other one is working status. So uh, for open status, we should be seeing that particular uh, the row and the working status, we should not be seeing that. Okay, that's the concept. I'm gonna go send an email, send me a mass mailer. Next page. Okay. So I'm going to select that uh, template. Save it. Nothing to be done here. Next page. Next page. So that's a logged in user. And we're not doing CC, we're not doing BCC in there. Next page. You're sending it now. And we are sending a non transactional with the unsubscribe link. And in here, all we're doing is just launch the campaign, click on the button. Okay, so I did to this campaign. I'm sure I should be receiving emails shortly. Okay, to the delivered. Okay, so I received the email as you can see. For one, this particular email is mouse.io that's the recipient that content is not there and for the other email address i have the content uh, the toggle section so if you go back to the actual leads you can notice that which one has um, okay so this is open mouse.com that's the open status and for mousemiller.io that's working. So for which that particular section did not appear. And I'll go back here and show it to you. So for mousemiller, sorry, the mansuses.com, I can see the set, uh, section which is open and for which uh, the other one, mousemiller.io that does not appear. So that's very simple uh, to kind of um, implement. Um, and again, uh, every use case scenario is different. Uh, so you will have to kind of uh, understand how this actually works behind the scenes and create the respective display condition. The only thing that you need to remember is display condition that you're gonna create can be applied only at the row level, um, not at the content block level, uh, only at the row level you can create it. Uh, so as long as you remember that and select that row and then um, select that uh, specific display condition, uh, you should be good to go. Any questions? Okay, seems like uh, no questions there. Once again, this is a, a weekly webinar that we do it every Thursday at um, 9 a.m. Pacific. Oh, seems like there's a question. Okay. Is there a limit to the number of conditions in an email? Uh, there is no limit at this time. Um, you know, you can have as many conditions as, uh, yeah, as you want it. Okay. Any other questions, anyone?
Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. This is a weekly webinar. We do it every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, we will be publishing uh, this video onto our YouTube channel. And we are also going to send an email if you are part of our email list. Um, and we're also going to post this on our social channels as well. And if you still have any questions or uh, any comments, uh, feel free to contact me directly or contact uh, our company from the website. And if you have not subscribed to our Mass Mailer uh, YouTube channel, uh, go to uh, YouTube and type in Mass Mailer. You'll find our channel and then just subscribe to it. Uh, very simple. Uh, so you get notified on the uh, new videos all the time. Uh, once again, thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. Appreciate it. And we'll see you again uh, next uh, week, Thursday, uh, with a different topic. Again, I'm going to talk about um, the new features that we um, are, we have added in the new release. Uh, so it'll all be part of that. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a good day. Have a